Order the compounds from most reactive to least reactive. If the reaction was carried out in the same reaction conditions with the same nucleophile. Think about the SN2 mechanism. The nucleophile attacks from the backside and displaces the leaving group. In the transition state, the leaving group is gaining a negative charge. The atom or molecule that is most stable with the negative charge will be the best leaving group and react the fastest. In the first reaction, the bromide ion is the leaving group. In the second reaction, the acetate ion is the leaving group. In the third reaction, the hydroxide ion is the leaving group. The best leaving group will be the weakest base. If you cannot remember their basicities, think about them as acids. HBr is a very strong acid and has a very weak conjugate base. Acetic acid is a weak acid and has a weak conjugate base. Water is a very weak acid and has a very strong conjugate base. How do we relate base strength of the leaving group with the rate of an SN2 reaction. Remember the rate constant in the rate equation is dependent on the activation energy and the larger the activation energy the slower the reaction rate is. Thus in the third reaction the hydroxide ion is the leaving group. In the transition state the hydroxide ion is gaining the negative charge which is a strong base and is not stable. This reaction will most likely be endothermic. In the first reaction, bromine is gaining the negative charge. The forming bromide ion is very stable with a negative charge and will readily accept the electrons from the sigma bond. The activation energy for this reaction would be much smaller and would react much faster than 3. The acetate ion is a weak base, but not nearly as weak as the bromide ion. This reaction would be slower than 1, but faster than 3.